guys, this is Chris for a Films Against Humanity unminting video. And I'm going to show you the Star Trek Generations Starship Enterprise NCC-1701D, the galaxy-class vessel as seen in the movie Star Trek Generations! Exclamation point. Um, and before anyone gets too excited, this is not a mint condition box. Uh, looks like this has been opened at some point, and uh, there's some pretty extensive damage, so we won't worry too much about destroying this priceless artifact this time. But uh, let's take a look at the box. First off, this is Collector's Edition. 8259 is the serial number, so if we want to track that later on, we have the option. Got all sorts of features, uh, battle damage. The battle damage looks like it might involve a piece of paper that peels off the top, so I'm interested to see where that goes. And I think it's of note that uh, whatever toy store was selling this originally had it at $125, and they marked it down to $175, and then Chase got it in a box with six other old Star Trek toys for 20 bucks on the internet. So I guess my family wasn't around this toy store in uh, 1996? When did Star Trek Generations come out? <laughs> oh, wow. We've got uh, some ads down here. The Bator and Lursa figures. I can't wait to get my hands on those. Oh man, look at Worf. And it looks like there's going to be a display stand. There's really too much going on on this box to uh, fully analyze. I'm too excited. We'll get into all that when it doesn't work when we open it up. So. Oh, it's still in the plastic. God, there's a magazine. Nothing else in there. Good lord. It's an entertainment weekly. 1995? Is that when that movie came out? This is already sort of open. really go for a smoke right about now. You guys remember when Sean Connery, Marlon Brando, and Yul Brenner were all in Starfleet? <laughs> Jeffrey Tambor? <laughs> Look at a young Jeffrey Tambor. Amazing. There's going to need to be a follow-up video on this. This isn't an Entertainment Weekly. It's all about Star Trek. Wow. Well, screw this toy. All right, all right, let's get to it. Here's one of the nacelles. Other nacelle. Looks like this was once packaged a little better. Pretty cool. It's already got a sticker or decal. And you can see the connection where it supposedly lights up and makes sound. We'll see if that still functions. We'll see if we have any batteries. And there she is. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. 
So the battle damage is making itself pretty self-evident right off the bat. Pretty cool, big old hole. Looks like it's gonna light up and there's a little slot, sort of the Jurassic Park system. This must be the battery compartment. Not sure how it opens. I'll get a flat head screwdriver or a chisel. Well, let's stick these on here. Not bad. Oh, there we go. All right, nice. Another little detail there. There's a lot of nice details in this toy. Got the shuttle bay that they never use on the show. There's the bridge. There's another battle damage compartment, I think, right here. Some sort of stickers. I don't know if those are supposed to be there or not. This looks like a sticker you're supposed to take off. I'll take it off. Oh, oh yes. Let's to leave it on. No, I don't know. Try the buttons. I don't think they're going to do anything. First button does not do anything. Oh my god! That was amazing. Look at the light. Wow. That is cool. Oh, an alarm or an alert. This is going to be Chase's new alarm clock. Now, how do we get the battle damage to pop off? Or do you just pry them out? Maybe not. Let's go back to the box. Press the activation button to light up engine. Hear the warning signal. Press the photon torpedo activation button to light up and here torpedoes it's got to be that one battle activation button ah there's a button looks like this is it oh hell yeah <laughs> that's scary ah the second battle activation button is not functional. But there's another hole. Everyone remembers the part when two red holes got shot into the Enterprise and then it was utterly destroyed on the planet Viridian 3. I don't, don't know why that happened. Still flashing, still flashing, still flashing, still flashing. Oh my god. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Star Trek Generations is my favorite movie. Um, I like it more than The Force Awakens, obviously. That was pretty stupid. Um, I think that First Contact had a little more success as far as like a viable Hollywood commercial property. And I remember there were a lot of toys based around that as well at the time, and it made a little more sense with the Borg uh, enemy, you know, it was a little more of an action movie. Like, I don't know, Star Trek fans love their toys, God knows I do, but it's hard to imagine any, like, young person seeing Star Trek Generations and rushing out to buy their Malcolm McDowell toy that can fight 69-year-old William Shatner. I did cry when William Shatner died. No, uh, this is a very sad movie. I remember Data's emotion chip. Uh, I had to go into therapy for about six months after that scene. Oh my god. Oh, yes! I hate this! It is revolting! More? Please. <laughs>